Hello, I'm Liz Zorav and this is By The Farm and today I'm going to show you how to get more plants for free by division. I've just got back from our local uh, plant nursery where amongst other things um, I bought this absolute beauty. It's a pineapple lily, uh, its real name is Eucomis and this one is Aloha Lily Maui. Isn't it beautiful? Um, so I actually paid uh, about £10 for this plant uh, but I didn't mind paying that because I know that for the one pot uh, I'm going to get about seven plants from it and the way I'm going to do that uh, is by division. I wouldn't normally divide plants uh, on a hot and sunny day like this but I've given it a good drink, uh, I'm going to soak all the plants afterwards uh, and I'm going to put them in a shady spot to rest uh, because I know this week it's uh, due to be very, very hot. Most herbaceous perennials uh, can be uh, propagated by dividing and the best time of year to do that is either uh, autumn or very early spring, uh, depending on what the plant is. And if you buy them in pots, you can just about get away with doing them at the time that you buy them. So I'm going to support the plant very carefully, find a place to put my hands in to support the plant and the soil, like that. And tip it up and there we go it's got a nice root system on it and you can see uh, there are very clearly uh, separate sections uh, to this plant and basically I'm going to pull those apart keeping as many roots as possible on each segment and then pop them back up again so here we go I'm going to very carefully put my thumbs in and see if I can pull a segment out. So I'm just teasing it. And there we go. There is one piece. It's got uh, some of the basal part on it and it's got roots. So each of these segments um, I'm going to give a really good soaking. Can you see how it's coming away? Let's put it straight into the water there. And as I say, this is not a great time of day to do this because uh, it's very hot, it will put a lot of stress on the plant but I'm doing it anyway. Now that's come away, it's hardly got any roots on it, so we'll give it a really good water. And I think, although that's got one coming away, I'm going to leave it as part of, am I, can I get that off with a piece of the base root? Not sure I did. So there's another one. Right, next thing I'm going to do is grab some soil uh, and some more pots. So I'll reuse the pot that it arrived in. And then I'm going to uh, repot this at the same level that it was at previously. And I'll get it a drink straight away. And although these plants like full sun uh, once they're in the ground, um, I'm going to put them in a shady spot to recover for a few days. 
anything up to uh, two weeks and it will be a bit of a shock to have been divided so I'm going to uh, not sit them in full sun and stress them. I'll let them have the warmth and some light shade uh, and hopefully they'll be fine. One of the reasons that I'm hoping uh, to be able to have lots of new plants is because uh, the border behind me, which is four feet wide and 26 feet long, um, I'm going to turn into a herbaceous border and in it I'm going to put some strawberries uh, and possibly a couple of fruit trees as well uh, to grow them as fan trained trees or maybe cordons so that I have something softening uh, the view uh, from the kitchen through to the polytunnel. I want something ornamental because this is the area that Mr J and I now sit out in uh, surrounded by flowers and herbs. But I just can't bring myself to have a border that's that long that isn't also productive. <laughs> 